What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Common Gamer one here with you and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Maxis's drone. I'm going to do my best to try to use theater mode here and show you where all the spawn points are because two of the pieces have several different locations. Now the first piece you're going to want to get is Maxis's brain and it's always in the spawn room where you start, always in round one. It's always sitting right there on the table that you're looking at. Now. It always spawns there, it never spawns in any location other in, the, in this room other than that table. So it's the, probably the easiest piece that you're going to find of Maxis's drone. Now the other two pieces are in separate locations. One's out by generator 6 and the other one is um, in another different location also out there. Now the picture you see on screen is the centerpiece, Maxis's drone. That's what it looks like, that's what it's going to look like sitting on the table. Um, it's that gr it's like a jar with a green glow to it and inside of it's Maxis's brain so that's piece two. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to go out to get um, the other pieces um, coming up here in just a second. This here is the pathway to generator two. Now this is just a path that I take. Um, it's just the quickest and easiest way to get out to no man's land um, to get over to generator six and to get the other pieces um, to Maxis's drone. This is just the path I take and I'm showing you guys. If you guys don't know where Juggernaut, if you guys are just now starting to play it, then um, you just will tell you how to get to Juggernaut also. For all you PS3 users, um, this will also kind of give you a head start of showing you which way you know Juggernaut is when you guys start playing the map. So once you make your way out to No Man's Land, you're going to want to head over to generator 6. One of the ways that I take is just this is the way towards Juggernaut. It's probably not the fastest way, but it's the way I like taking simply because I can run by here real quick, grab, activate the generator, grab Juggernaut right there, and uh, continue on my path. So you're going to make your way down and travel through some mud and things to that extent. Um, and work your way over here to the church is what I like to call it. Now, um, it's pretty easy. You're going to need to buy a door right there and then head through and down into the church. Now, Maxis's drone piece, one of them can be along this path that you see us traveling right through here. It's kind of shiny. It's pretty easy. It's usually right about there um, in location when it spawns there. The other place that it could be um, is up this path here. I've seen it over here. Um, traveling up to this path. No specific spawn point there. It's just randomly out there. And the other place that it could be, which this is Maxis's body uh, that you're going to be looking for. The other spawn place is going to be down inside um, the tunnels or excavate, not excavate strike, but the dig sites. It can be anywhere along this wall in the crack in the crevices of you know the garden spots um, it could be over there by the table it could be you know over there by where the skulls are at but that's going to be the first piece as you see on the screen now um, kind of small piece kind of hard to see sometimes so you got to make sure you're looking real close for it but those are the three spawn spots for the body part now the next part that you're going to be needing is the I guess updraft wheels or I don't know I, I, I call it like a steering wheel kind of but they're actually the fan motors that sit on all four sides of the drone and you're gonna find that at the excavation site now there is three different locations at the excavation site that you can actually um, find the piece and I'm gonna show you that here in just a minute now once you buy the um, the gateway to the excavation site if you go in this way and you take your dart straight to um, the left, usually it's going to be in that corner right there. But it could spawn in any of these corner sections throughout the excavation site. If it's not up there, then you're going to want to go down. Now there's two spawn spots here in the excavation site down below. Okay, One, it could be by this table or speaker system I guess right there right next to it generally right there on the floor it also could be over anywhere along 
that box or before you make the gateway down to the floor it could actually be next to the crate that's sitting there if it's not in those three spots there's one more spot that it could possibly be and it's further down here and it's going to be on one of the bridge walkways and you just got to jump your way down to the bridge walkways make your way across and then I'm going to show you here in just a second exactly where and it would be right there on top of that box so that's where all the spawn spots are for the fan blade rotary blades that uh, you have for Maxis's drone. Now once you got that completed you can go to any buildable table in the map and build it and fly it around. Now it usually lasts for a round and a half um, and then it needs to go back and do uh, recharging and he'll tell you that. So hopefully the video helped you guys. If it did leave a like. There's more videos to come. I'm going to show you guys how to build the zombie shield. All four staffs. Try to make them as detailed and as easy as possible for you guys. As always, subscribe. Leave me some comments on what you guys think of the new map. Let me know if there's any suggestions you guys might have for me. Um, and yeah, that's it. See you guys next time.